What is up, you delightful drippings of pubic snot? I'm McStud. Welcome to the motherfucking McStud Show. It's Thursday, Thirsty Thursday, Thrill Pound Thursday. Thrust your cock into a fucking blender Thursday. I don't give a fuck, do something with it. Shit. It's fucking Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. Michael Bolton, motherfucker Friday. The best day of the week to celebrate. One of the greatest musical artists of our of all time, really. Shit. Michael motherfucking Bolton. Goddamn first. Your mom shit out my jizz. <clears throat> Bet you weren't expecting that one. You might have been. I don't know. Fuck it. Cheers, bitches. God damn, that's good. Hope y'all having a good week. For you Monday through Friday. So, like I said, after tomorrow, you get the weekend off. I get the weekend off. It's fucking great. I love weekends off. Actually, I love any time I don't have to work, which is fucking amazing. What I see, I seen a meme earlier, just a little bit ago. It said, uh, my toxic trait is that anytime the sun is out, I want to quit my job. If that is not the fucking truth, then I don't know what the fuck is. Like, anytime it's fucking sunny. I remember working third shifts. <clears throat> you coming home in the morning, especially on, like, Saturday mornings, Friday mornings. My brothers got their boats out. They get ready. Like, people at the gas station. Everyone's getting ready to start their fucking weekend going somewhere, going out of town. And, uh, you just driving home to go to fucking bed. And probably go to work the next day. Just depressing, really. Like, and that sun hits, like, it's like a good day to day drink. Not every day, but you know, it's a, it's just one of those things. Especially after winter, when the spring starts to hit and you get those first nice, really warm fucking days, you just want to fucking sit outside and enjoy the motherfucking sun. The fucking, <coughs> excuse me, breeze. Uh, and not do a goddamn thing. Just fucking relax, chill, and enjoy it. Breathe. Fresh air. It's warm. May have a few cold days later, but you know, summer's coming and there'll be plenty of those warm days. But after a fucking shitty winter, it's fucking perfect. <clears throat> Damn, so I had a, had a half day of work today. Left at 10.20. I had a doctor's appointment. My doctor's only in... I got one of those walk-in clinic doctors, like primary physician walk-in clinic doctors, only in Tuesday through Thursday up until 1.30 p.m. I work until, I work from 6.20 to 2.50. Uh, impossible to get in after work. Fucking stupid. So, <clears throat> had to go to the doctor because I ran out of my meds. Most importantly, my motherfucking blood pressure meds. Um, Whole visit ended up turning into me getting a flu shot, my annual checkup, and uh, actually some amazing blood work. And uh, my blood pressure was like the best I've fucking seen in a long fucking time. So I'm doing something right. I'm cool with that. I'll take it. Mm. You know, and on the plus side, I got until I'm uh, 50 before I have to worry about uh, things being shoved up my ass for medical reasons. You know, I uh, I keep trying to come up with ideas for my first prostate exam. I want to make it special. <laughs> you know, uh, because I think I've said this before, if I have to feel uncomfortable, best believe I'm making my doctor feel uncomfortable. Um, I don't know if I should maybe moan real loud. Like, oh, doc. Uh, it sounds like a good plan. I also thought about sticking like a fake eye on my butthole. But the eyes got to be brown, of course, you know. And when I bend over, I'll say, look into my big brown eye. But he's old enough to know that song. I said, use. What the fuck? <clears throat> now, after it's done, maybe I should be like, uh, so, Doc, how, how do we do this? Uh, do I give you my number? You give me yours? <laughs> maybe pop off with the classic, uh, so, Doc, what are we now? Give him a little wink, like, oh, uh, I gotta make sure this fucker ain't got no damn sausage fingers, though, for real, like, I, like, if he does, I gotta find a different doctor for that shit, and, uh, I'll be taking hand applications for this when I go to visit other doctors, like, hold up, psh, I just need to see the doctor, I gotta see his hands before I even pay for anything, um, 
These motherfuckers big. He's not my doctor. These fingers better be fucking small and thin. I do not need two lubricated brats all up in my asshole. Fuck that shit. But, like I said, on the plus side, my blood pressure was fucking amazing. So, great success! My worst Borat impersonation ever. This is fucking tasty tonight. You know. Speaking of doctors, I'm guessing doctors go to a different doctor for their prostate exam. I'm, be, I'm pretty sure it'd be hard for them to sho shove their... They could shove their own fingers in their ass. Can they get to their prostate the way they need to to make sure it feels how it's supposed to? Um, but how do you think the conversation goes when the two doctors get together, you know, to give the other a prostate exam? You know, they're like... Uh, Best part of the job, isn't it, Doc? Oh, yeah. You got one of the uh, better assholes I've seen today. Well, you do know I try to take care of it just for these types of situations. You uh, feel any abnormal? Can you say abnormalities lately? Oh, no, 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 not really. But if I reach around here, I do feel that you have a hard lump in your front side. Is that your colon scope or are you just happy to see me? Fucking doctors, man. They, gotta, they probably throw some doctor humor in there. Like, what, what if one doctor made the other doctor, like, jizz? That'd be awkward. Like, ah, oh, you're quite the premature ejaculator, I see. We have, we have medication for that. Would you like a motherfucking prescription? Ugh. Fuck. And I don't, don't take this the wrong way. I get phone calls. Um. Well, anyone, like, when I get into this later, but uh, y'all remember that scene in the movie uh, Something About Mary where dude gets his balls stuck in his zipper and they show it? You know, that's kind of how I feel anytime I get a fucking phone call. I'm like, you know, texts are just fine for the most part. I have a shit phone right now and sometimes it doesn't work correctly. Literally, at one point, it stopped working. I didn't realize, you know, I was texting and I didn't get any responses. I didn't know. And my phone, I forget what the fucking said on the side. It said some kind of shit. I had to restart the motherfucker because it just stopped working. I had no fucking clue. <clears throat> oh. And then there's times I don't get texts. I'm like, or the, the phone calls don't come through. Like I get a text like, Hey, answer your phone. I didn't get a phone call. Sorry. Literally, it didn't, like, this is like, uh, I got this cheap-ass $50 phone. It's like a Motorola. Uh -oh. It would make a really good paperweight, but, I mean, it does a job for when I do need phone calls. At least it goes to voicemail. Um, and texts work most of the time, which is good. <clears throat> you know, uh, when that fucking phone rings, you can just assume I'm dead on the motherfucking floor. Really. Uh, except for certain people. And except for Facebook calls, you know. If I don't answer any Facebook calls, it's because I'm just chilling and decompressing. Don't take it personally. Literally. Uh, it's, uh, I deal with people all day and I'm just trying to chill. And really, sometimes the last thing I want to do is sit on the fucking phone. Literally. And it, it's not anything against anyone. Like, most people I know would rather text... And, you know, every once in a while, you know, I jump on, you know, just because, you know, I need to, I need to get, I need to get out of that rut sometimes. Like, dude, just fucking answer the phone. Stop being a little fucking hermit. Um, but it's just how, it's just how I fucking am. I've always been that way. And the older I get, the worse it fucking gets. But, but, but don't fucking take it personal. And if you do, I'm not sorry. You know, there's no reason that you should take it personally. That'd be like me taking it personally if I go go ask an old lady out in public if she would rub my sack and she walks away in disgust. You know? But the plus side of that is, there is always fucking next time. Just because she walked away doesn't mean the next time I see her, she won't. And that's exactly what is wrong with this country. <laughs> you know, persistence is good to a certain extent. But damn, don't be that goddamn persistent, motherfuck. Mm. Um. But yeah. 
Tomorrow's Friday. And I don't usually do this, but I want to end this video. I want to give a special cheers to one special woman out there. Truly amazing woman. You know who you are. You're fucking rock. You amazing. Um, and you make every fucking day better for me. So for that, thank you. <clears throat> and that's uh, all I want to say for now for certain reasons. But just know she's there. <sighs> Tomorrow's Friday. Michael Ball Friday. And you know what I would not do for a fucking dog humping my leg right about now. For real. Y'all think it's a joke. I'm for real. Oh. Sometimes it's, uh, there's a lot of big things, but sometimes it's little things like that. A lot of other little things too, but <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> Just know that McStead is in a really good fucking place. <clears throat> Not the best place. Things will change. Um, only do we get better, of course. But anyways, motherfuckers, we're almost at 12 minutes and I, I can do these longer videos now, which is amazing. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you bitches tomorrow later. Um, yeah, later in the evening. But yeah, I'm excited. Deuces, bitches. Ugh.